My name is uh, Josh Long. Um, I've actually been coming here for a couple times. I know some of you. I'm a Pennsylvanian, originally from Bangor, Pennsylvania. And um, I'm going to explain a little bit about these pieces in a second, but uh, I'll give you my quick commercial that I run the annual Community Band by the Sea in Wildwood, New Jersey. It's our fourth year. It's July 27th. We do a rehearsal the day before, and we do the concert down in Wildwood. So if you're interested in that, please uh, come down. Um, I have a lot of people, I know Chuck actually played in it, um, and it was a lot of fun. So if you are interested, fast forwarding to this year, and it's gonna be our fourth year, I have a new commercial to say to you. We're going to be recreating the Bethlehem Steel Company Band at Music Fest in Bethlehem on August 10th. <laughs> so I need members for that too. So if you're interested in either one of those, Again, the same kind of format will be the rehearsal before and then the concert on the day of. So there's a flyer floating around here somewhere by the door that explains it. So this piece, these two pieces actually go along, I thought, since I got the opportunity to play at Music Fest. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit really quickly about these next two marches. Uh, the Steel King March was uh, written by Floyd St. Clair. He uh, was born in Johnstown little side note, um, we were talking about that, and he was involved with a steel company called the Edward Thomas Steel Works, and that was started by um, Charles um, Schwab, or excuse me, it was Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie's Steel Works, but Charles Schwab ran the company. So while he was there, he was involved with the Edgar um, Thomas Steel Works Band, and he wrote this next piece for this for Charles Schwab why he was there. The reason leading into this, we'll talk about the next one in a second, but Charles Schwab started the Bethlehem Steel Company Band, and we'll talk about it in a second. But let's hear the Steel King, if we could. He also wrote the Iron King for uh, Andrew Carnegie as well, but the Steel King. Pretty straightforward, first and second endings, you probably played it before, watch the dynamics, right? Right on it. <laughs> Thank you. 
next selection, uh, Greeting to Bethlehem. If you see at the top, top, it says, To the Bethlehem Steel Company Band in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, that existed from 1910 to 1925. And I want to just talk a little bit and give you a little overview of this. It was like the place to be. What I mean by that is they had running water inside the building where they rehearsed, just like here. And heat. And they had all kinds of pool tables. Chuck, where's your pool tables? <laughs> so it was the band hall and the place to be. I mean, it was such a fabulous place. I mean, they put so much money into this. And again, early 1900s, think about it, the royalty up there. Um, he started this band, it was a little bit before, it's a little sad story that there was a strike going on at the Bethlehem Steel Plant because the workers didn't want to work seven days a week. They wanted to work six and have Sundays off. So unfortunately, Charles Schwab said, let them start, they'll come back, which was rude. So there was a death and unfortunately, the Pennsylvania um, State Police came in, <laughs> broke up some fights. The newly formed Pennsylvania State Police broke up some fights, and then he started doing nice things to the community. And this was one of the nice things, was creating this Bethlehem Steel Company band that he brought out as a Christmas present. So the interesting thing is uh, George Rosencrans um, from Penfield, PA, was hired to write this, and he had this, uh, this art, and I probably, I haven't really researched him too much, of writing all these different melodies on this lead sheet and turning it and turning it and writing these and have all these tons of different melodies. So I'm interested, as you're listening to this piece, you will re realize that there's no break strings, no dogfight in this march, like a typical march. So at the end, at the trio, it's just the trio. That's it. There's nothing in, in between. So again, my two cents, if you're interested in joining me to recreate the Bethlehem Steel Company Legacy Band, don't worry, I won't starve you. Don't worry, you will have fun. Unfortunately, I won't have pool tables either. But, greetings to Bethlehem. <laughs>